So character animation can be a real pain, and it's definitely not for impatient dudes like me. So I was wondering if there was an easy way, a procedural way of animating characters in Blender. But we don't have the tools for that. We have a few things, the modifiers and graph editor, but they're not enough to create walk cycles and stuff like that. So let's see how can we create this procedural dinosaur animation in Blender. And this technique can be applied to any two-leg or four-leg character. You can control the offset in between the legs, you can control the speed or anything, the direction of the character, where it's going, and the height of the steps. We have a lot of controls and I'll keep improving that and I'll make tutorials about that. So let's create a procedural dinosaur walk cycle animation in geometry node. Okay, so let's talk about how are we gonna do this and then we'll start making it from scratch. Let's add a plane here. We have these four points in this plane. If I delete all the edges and faces, we have these points and they have a index number which is specific for each of the point and we're gonna use this in geometry nodes. So here what I'm doing is I'm parenting armatures to these vertices somehow by using some constraints and stuff like that. So geometry nodes is all about moving points and uh, it's all about geometry. So we can do whatever we want to our geometry right here. We can make walk cycles, we can make rotations and anything we like and then our bones will follow that points like we are setting the position of the specific bones to these points let's start creating this in geometry nodes and as always i'm gonna a x and delete everything i'm gonna set this to geometry nodes hit n the first one i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a plane here hit tab into the edit mode a x and all the edges and faces so you have four points right here then in the middle i'm gonna add a plane here hit m to merge at center we have five points now go to the object mode and create a new geometry node tree rename it to walk cycle first we're gonna do all everything in geometry nodes then we're gonna parent it to our characters now first thing we want is to make this point move in steps along a curve. So for that I'm gonna pin this and add a curve here which is gonna be a path and I'm gonna scale this path up a little bit. Apply the scale. And I'm gonna import this to the geometry nodes and rename it. So right here let's set this to relative. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate my group input and bring it right here. Connect this uh, this one right here and hit N, go to the group and select this and rename it to curve because you want to make things easier and understandable here. You don't want to make it confusing so keep things organized. I'm going to drag that and add a curve length node here. So we're calculating the length of a curve. Suppose that's 10 meters, then we're gonna divide it into smaller sections and we're gonna do some math to create the steps and yeah, let's do it. So right here, let's add a map node and divide it by a number. Then I'm gonna duplicate our group input and connect this divide right here to the black dot. Hit N, go to the group value and make it step length. This is gonna be the length of our steps in the walk cycle. I'm gonna hit Ctrl H to hide everything just like that. I'm gonna duplicate this node and I'm gonna set it to round. So what this node does is it rounds up the value which are in the decimals to nearest integer I think. So you're gonna connect that right here. Let's add a math node and set this to multiply and connect that right here. Then I'm gonna get my group input, grab it right here, shift D, Hit Ctrl H to reveal these and connect this in here. Then I'm gonna hit N and go to this value and make it factor. Because this factor is gonna be animating our whole character. So this is the main value that we're gonna be playing with later. I'm gonna hit Ctrl H to hide that. Hit N again. Then I'm gonna duplicate this multiply node. So we're rounding up all of the values then we're gonna multiply it with something that can like drive the value and give us the whole animation and then after that we're gonna connect that right here and i'm gonna set this one to floor and then i'm gonna duplicate this and set this to divide we're gonna use a node called sample curve here which is like uh which is like the curve modifier we can like uh, add objects in here in a curve and and drive them along the path using this position node so we want to drive an object 
on this object along this path but the factor should be like in steps for the steps we added these nodes so let's connect the divide to the factor right here the floor to this value and then i'm gonna get this value from the round map node to the divide right here then for the sample curve we need an input in the geometry so it needs like a curve here so i'm gonna shift d to duplicate my group input and control s to reveal these and add an object info node connect the curve right here and connect the geometry to the curve set it to relative hit ctrl h and make sure to set this divide node to clamp so yeah then i'm gonna add a transform node here so basically what we're doing is transforming these things these points along this curve so get the position and connect this to the translation now if i go to the modifier and actually i'm gonna get this factor upper than that so bring it up just like that and if i drive this value it works like that you can see the small steps here the step length is a little bit less so i'm gonna make it something like two and yeah this works so basically i'm just gonna add a driver here hash frame divided by something like um, 100 there we go we got the steps in the tangent i'm gonna add in align euler to vector node i'm gonna select the x and auto here and connect the vector the tangent to the vector the rotation socket and connect it to the rotation now let's play it up the rotation works perfectly fine like you can see without this and with this is fixed i'm gonna hide this and just like that very good i'm gonna hit ctrl h to remove the scale because we don't need it and make sure to save your file so let's name it to walk cycle and by the way this file is gonna be available on patreon it's already available i uploaded it like a week ago i think but it wasn't this one it was a, a different file now what we want to do is we want to remove the middle point from here because basically the middle point is used for the body so these are the legs these points are used for the forward legs and the middle one is used for the body so the body is like jumping up and down with this point so this one is very important let's make a selector kind of thing where we can just uh, remove any point that we want using an index number index is a number which is different for each point and i don't know much about it but let's just do it let's add a separate geometry node because we're separating points all right so this is point and in this selection I'm gonna add a compare node it is integer and equal if index is equal to zero then the geometry is gonna be like that so you want to select the middle point here so uh, let's play with the index and see which one is for that yeah so if the index is 4 the middle point is going to be selected here now what we want to get from here is we want the inverted one we have the middle one selected here and if we invert it we have everything else selected the middle one is not here it's disappeared so that's what we want so i'm going to get the inverted and select these nodes and hit ctrl g to group them and i'm going to rename it to something like separator get the selection right here so that we have two inputs i'm gonna save this file now let's uh, bring these nodes down a little bit i'm gonna select the curve and scale it up a little bit now we want this to go and displaced surfaces so let's add a plane here and i'm gonna scale it up just like that apply the scale hit tab subdivide and i'm gonna get a little bit of displacement so and that's gonna be fine for now shade that smooth i'm gonna get rename it to ground make sure to rename things because it's gonna get messy at the end keep things organized let's add a set position node to set the position of the points to this grid along the z-axis then i'm gonna add a ray cast node and for the target geometry we need this ground so get the ground and get the group input shift d to duplicate it hit ctrl h connect the ground right here to this point hit n and in this object i'm gonna rename it to land and hit ctrl s to hide it get the geometry connected to the target geometry and hit ctrl h this is okay now i'm gonna get the head hit the hit position from the raycast and connect it to the position so the points are displayed successfully on our ground i'm gonna hit ctrl h on the raycast to minimize it a little bit that's good to go now if you play it it looks like that 
everything is moving along the curve, the rotation is correct, the orientation and everything is fine. I'm gonna select these and hit Ctrl J, select these, hit Ctrl J, just like that, select these, hit Ctrl J. Select these nodes and duplicate them, all of these. So what we wanna do is you wanna make two versions of this. The first one will be this one will be a little bit different than this one. And where is the difference? It's all about these nodes. Hit Ctrl Shift D to duplicate them. And before this divide node, I'm gonna uh, duplicate this floor and set it to add. And I'm going to add one here and connect the divide to the factor. So basically what we're doing here is we have these two same nodes, but in the second one, we're offsetting it by one. So you can see what it's doing. I'm just gonna disconnect my output. Let's just duplicate our input from here and hit Alt B to remove it from the frame. Am I recording or not? Yeah, let's add a set position node and our own separator group. Yeah, connect the geometry to geometry, Control H, and there is our geometry. We got the separator and invert it here. So basically, what are we doing now? We are getting the position from these vertices and these and we're transferring it to these. We're driving it by like uh, these values. So it will make sense in a bit. Let's gr uh, grab that and get a transfer attribute node. And same for this one. This is gonna be a vector for both of these. And in the attribute, let's add position. Because we are getting, transferring the position from these vertices. So get that and right here, get position. And this is going to be the index so get the index then we're gonna add a mix rgb we are sort of mixing these two together these offsetted ones to get the position right and then we're gonna get some values from here to drive the factor now right here i'm gonna add a few map nodes here so add a map node set this to multiply duplicate it and this one is, this one is gonna be fraction where is the fraction and i'm gonna duplicate it and this is gonna be multiply and i'm gonna duplicate it again and set it to subtract where is it subtract now with these nodes let's add a group input here i'm gonna get that shift d to duplicate alt p get this around and connect it to the multiply right here Control h for the group input input and connect this value to our factor i'm gonna hit Control h again connect this to the fraction connect this to the multiply connect this to the subtract then i'm gonna duplicate this group input and hit Control h then right here i'm gonna connect this multiply value to this black dot and hit n and select this value and rename it to legs so this value will decide our legs if we have two legs in the character, we have to select it, we have to give it two. And if we have four legs, we're gonna input a value of four in there, right here. So this is gonna be an integer value. And then I'm gonna duplicate this multiply node and set it to modulo. And let's connect that right there. And I'm gonna add an index in here. And then connect the modulo to the subtract node. And then connect this to the factor right here. And then hit N. Now let's play this how it looks like. So it's not looking very good right now, but we're gonna fix it. So now you can see we have an offset value in the set position where we can uh, control the offset. And this is the time to do the, uh, like we're moving in steps like that right now. But now we can do this thing here. Like we don't wanna move just like that always. We wanna bring it up a little bit on the Z axis. So let's do that. I'm gonna hit control S. And right here, let's add a combine XYZ node. We just want to get the Z axis from here. And connect the subtract node to the Z. I'm going to add a map node here and get our group input. And we want another input here for our uh, height of the whole step. So plug that, hit N and rename it to step height. So just like that, this is the step height now. I'm going to set this to multiply and this is okay. Let's add a float curve to control values a little bit more and they get this up just like that bring these down now let's design this float curve a little bit i think this is gonna be okay yeah this is perfect i'm gonna get this float curve and duplicate it and grab it right here and put it in the middle of the second one which goes to the factor of the mix rgb so 
So I experimented with a lot of uh, designs in of curves and this is what looks better for me. So you can try this one. Now finally let's play it and let's see how it looks like. Still not looking good. So the one thing that can be wrong here is we have no legs. We have zero here which means nothing. I'm gonna set this to 4 right now. Go back and play the animation. And it's... Oh, what is this? Because maybe we have the index wrong, I think. I'm gonna divide it by a bigger number like 300. The step height is gonna be 1. It's kind of going in the wrong direction. So I think the index should be up there. I added it in the second socket. So I'm gonna bring it up and now let's play it back. Oh, it's sort of working but it's still like going the wrong way. I don't know why. Maybe let's invert these ones. It works perfectly fine. Now let's see if that works with two legs. So I'm gonna select everything and delete two of the points from here. Vertices and bring these to the x-axis just like that. And in the legs count, I'm gonna set it to two and let's play that off. Oh, what is this? If you have two points moving like that, you can always like um, go right here and in there. You can change this value to delete the middle point. So basically you have to play with this uh, uh, separator, with this group of the sepa separator and and set it to an index value which deletes your middle point because you don't want that to appear in the first uh, steps and if it's four legs right here I will set this to four so yeah I'm gonna set this to two and set this one to two two now that is working now you know uh, index values can be different if I add another plane and uh, if the index is different for each point then you have to go there and uh, delete the middle point from here just select uh, one of these it's a selector you know and I'm gonna get this right here you can delete one from there the middle one and keep everything else so yeah this is it now we have two points right and these are moving like like that but I don't like the way the two points move actually let's just add a instance on points now to see these a little bit clearer I mean in the in instance I'm gonna add an icon sphere and bring down the radius uh, pay attention to this step it's wrong you know like you have to go like that one and this is the second then this is the third and then this is the fourth so yeah and this one is wrong so what we want to do here we want to go right here after the separator add a set position node to offset these points a little bit so there's these are not at the same point on one frame so uh, just a little bit offset it in that way i'm going to add a compare node and set this to integer and i'm going to add an index here i'm going to duplicate these two nodes and connect this one to the selection and select all of these and hit Ctrl G to group that because you want to group work inside of a group so that we can duplicate it for the second one. I'm gonna add a boolean math and select or or uh, nor. I'm gonna select nor here and set this one to two integer and equal and this one to equal and connect this to the boolean. So if I move this, you know none of the points are moving. If I select this to or, I don't know which one is gonna be moving. Let's preview this right here and then I'm gonna go to the group right and move this point. So you see you can see here we have um, we have an index selector. If the index is equal to zero and if the index is equal to two, these two are gonna be selected, right? And if the index is equal to like uh, one or three or four these are not going to be selected so i'm not going to be selected so this is the boolean math for this if we select it to nor uh, this is going to select everything else but not these points so it's going to be a little bit confusing but you'll learn that once you once you practice and open geometry notes now right here you can move that and it works now i want to check if that works with uh, four points so let's select these and shift d x to duplicate them and let's see if that works with four and if i move that yes it totally works with four points now what i want to do here is offset these points so let's add a combine xyz and we want to offset it along the x-axis 
so get the x-axis and add a map node here and i'm gonna set this to divide and divide this by two now for this value i'm gonna connect it to the group input right here get out of the group by hitting tab hit ctrl h for this group get this value and connect it to the step length so uh, it's kind of uh, we're getting the length of the step and we're dividing it by two so when we divide it by two we get this uh, offset if we're dividing it by a smaller or bigger number it's gonna cause problems so this is a good way of cal calculating things because uh, now you can see it's in the middle and they're not facing each other then we want to uh, have a better control here so for four legs we don't need this offset so I'm gonna add a mix RGB here and in the color 2 I'm gonna add a vector just a simple simple vector yeah that's it now if we play with a factor when it's 1 it's nothing when it's 0 it's something it's like this value now this works I'm gonna get this factor connect it right here and get this factor connect it right here I'm gonna hit N and I'm gonna set this offset here if you have a two leg character this should be set to zero if this these legs are four like that we can set it to one and this will work so preview everything now and let's see how is that working I'm gonna get the step length and bring it up to four yeah this is it I'm gonna hit tab and scale x-axis to just like that bring the step length down to three yeah this works then what if we have two legs here i'm gonna delete these legs and bring these back a little bit and set the legs to two right here save the file and now if the legs are two we need the offset of zero and technically it should be one like um let's invert it so go to the group and invert these values bring this to the color two down and this one will be jumped up so if the now the offset should be one and play it yeah we got some jumping here because you know you know what we did here we should duplicate this node group which is the offsetter i'm gonna rename it to offset offset and shift d to duplicate it hit alt p and you guessed it we didn't add it in the second one like we have these similar two operations going on here we need to add it right here too after this separator we have one separator here and the second one right here so i'm gonna get it in there and this value was connected to the step length so get this value and connect it to step length and this one to the offset Control h to hide these now play that oh so i think this is working like um the opposite way i divided it by two and it was totally opposite and you know what we do when, we, when things are opposite if you're adding a positive value here you can just make it negative and try that and now you can see it walks like a human and any animal that walks on two legs like a dinosaur i'm gonna get out of this node and this is basically our walk cycle for the two leg ik bones now we want to do something for the middle bone too so let's do that too gonna get these two nodes duplicate them so what we want to do is you want to get the middle point and separate it so these are the points you know let's just connect this selection to the instance and points to just preview what we are uh, selecting here yeah we got the middle point now you can play with these values to get the side points if you want to i don't know why would you want that but yeah this is just to understand things and we got the selection the middle point now we want to set the position of it because we want to move it with the other points so get a set position node and right here let's add a transform node and just like the others let's add a sample curve node hit alt p and sample curve and duplicate my group input Control H and there we have the factor. I'm gonna connect the factor to the fact we add an object info here, connect the geometry to the curve relative and get the curve connected right here. Hit control H. Now what I'm gonna do is get the position connected to the translation. Translation and get the tangent connected to the rotation. But before that, add an align Euler to vector node, and that would be connect it to the vector hit ctrl h or just h and hit ctrl h for the transform node 
in the position let's add a raycast raycast head position to the position and in the target geometry I'm going to add an object info node and duplicate hit control H and duplicate this one and get the land connected to the object hit control H again and hit control H for this one too and in the offset I'm going to add a combine XYZ node or what I can do is get the group input duplicate it hit control H and connect the offset directly to the black dot right here and this will be very useful later because we're gonna animate um, the Z value here to give it a little bit of jumping animation let's offset it on the Z axis 2 meters that will be enough and yeah I'm gonna have to add a join geometry here to just preview everything at once So play it. Somebody's walking. Now the whole idea is to just um, get some IKs and uh, connect those IK controllers to these points, and they're moving like uh, that. So yeah, this is it. We want to do one more thing, which is very important. Very very important. We can't ignore this. If we ignore this, and our whole thing will not work. It will work in a straight way, but when we rotate it, the armature is not gonna rotate, so yeah, we want something to rotate our armature along a path. So for that thing, I have a very good idea, which works perfectly fine. Let's add a plane, hit tab, alt Z, and select these two vertices merge at center. Now this is the plane that we want to control our rotation of the skeleton of any character with and yeah let's do it i'm gonna unpin this and create a new geometry nose tree now what we want to do is we want this thing to be always under these points and these vertices these three vertices are going to decide the rotation and the balance like when it moves on a terrain or a or a surface that's very curved and displaced the whole skeleton of the dino is gonna uh, like uh, like tilt and stuff like that if you don't add this it's gonna move like a like a statue which we don't want we don't want to make it move like a statue we want it to react to the ground i'm gonna rename it to rotation character all right here we want to drive it along our path let's add our curve in here let's add our ground and our curve set these to relative we don't want to do any grouping here this is a simple one and select that and add a transform node add a sample curve node get the position connected to the translation get the tangent connected to the rotation add an align Euler to vector node Euler or Euler I don't know how to pronounce it correct me if I'm wrong and right here move these i'm gonna set this to factor and connect the geometry to the curve and i'll just duplicate my input and connect the factor right here and we'll animate this value later so add a set position node add a ray cast connect the head position to the position so now it's uh, like shrink wrapped on this geometry if i move it it's looking like that and now you guessed it we're gonna make the uh, armature of our of our character parent to these three points and we have a feature in blender which is the three vertex parent and we have three vertices in here which can decide our rotation of the character so that's a good thing you can see these vertices are rotating and moving and our character will move with it we're good to go i think yeah now next thing is to parent these points now to a character or whatever you want so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna import my character in here and i'm gonna hit tab hit alt z and select these and scale y axis to make it a little bit wider i'm gonna select the armature hit control tab and hit Select the IK control from there. It can be controlled by constraint. So go to the bone constraints and add a copy location. Select the walk, which is the plane that we have points on. So I'm gonna select my plane. Hold Z, hit tab. Now let's assign vertex groups for all of them. Select the first one, add a new one, vertex group, and set it to one and assign it. Make sure nothing else is selected here. Select the middle one, create a new vertex, rename it to M middle, assign. Select the last one, new vertex group, 
and rename it to 2 and assign. Now hit control tab again with the rig, select the bone, the IK bone and I'm thinking this was the second one probably. Hit 2 for that, select the second group. Uh, why is it still here? The second group is not working right now because if you see right here, you instance these uh, spears right there. Now the, the groups are disappeared because we have a new geometry. I'm gonna remove this instancing from there. And yeah, this is working now. Go to the timeline, I think. Select the rig and hit control tab. Select the second IK, just like that. Add a copy location. Select the walk and select the one. Yeah, we have a little bit of a problem here. Uh, you can see, sometimes you may get problems with the index here because this is all uh, a little bit confusing with the indexes. But uh, if it gets messy, you can always turn off the modifier from here, A, X, and delete all the vertices. And add another plane, scale it along the Y axis a little bit, just like that. Uh, all of these, turn on the auto merge and scale X and 0 and then subdivide it just like that and I'm gonna hit A, X and faces and edges and I turn on the modifier back and now you'll see this probably problem with the geometry nodes right here so the separator says 2 here I'm gonna set this to 0 and this one to 0 2 yeah this works this is fine so the step length let's make it 6 but it's a little bit slow now, so let's make it divided by 150. Now it's a bit, it will be fast. Now that we just deleted our vertices and added it back, so we have to do the parenting, I mean the vertex groups again. So select the first vertex. Oh, I think I'm gonna remove all the groups. So let's the, select the first one, add another group, name it to one and assign. Select the second one, new. M assign third one new two assign tab put the uh, armature control tab go right here and for this one let's remove it and for this one remove it add another copy location select the walk and select the vertex group 2 I'm gonna go back a little bit just like that I think I can choose the one here so this leg is selected now. What's the problem with that, man? I'm gonna go to geometry nodes. Now that we have zero right here in this separator, zero in this one, we must have it zero in this one too. This is important. Now let's do that. This is, select the two here, select this one, and add a copy location, and select the walk, and then the one, yes. Now select this one, which is the whole body, you can see just like that. I'm gonna add a copy location, select the walk, and select the middle one. Now, you can see this is very screwed up, but uh, this can be fixed by moving the points and offsetting them along this character because this is different for every character, so we have to customize the uh, walk a little bit. Now, go to the object node and select the walk. The first thing you, first thing you can say is the step length. Let's bring it down. I'm gonna bring it down to 3, and this is good. Oh, what is it doing? Go to the edit mode, select everything and scale it along the y-axis down. Now, next thing is the height. Let's bring the offset up a little bit to something like 3.5, 3.5, not 2. Just like that. We can bring this back a little bit, just like that. Bring it up, and the... Uh, the width of the steps is a little bit high, so I can maybe hit tab and scale it along the y-axis, just like that. This is okay now. Now that we have this, I'm gonna select this one and copy driver. If you have keyframes on this factor, you have to uh, get the keyframes and get my plane, which is this triangle that we made, that we just made and uh, sort of uh, make the keyframe similar to it because we want this thing to be down here always like if it moves forward right here we need this thing to move too so that the rotation of the thing is correct i'm gonna paste the driver here 
now it's down there and I'm gonna select the armature here then I'm going to select my triangular type of plan and hit tab hit one you can see the vertices right here and then I'm gonna hit ctrl P make vertex parent this is good to go now if I play it oh <laughs> You can see this uh, this rotation it works totally fine for me you know uh, it's a little bit uh, kind of stupid right now but we will fix it yeah this is only the first try now for the z offset i'm gonna bring it down to something like three this would work yeah this is good i'm gonna set this offset to zero because we don't want to make things bad here now how are we gonna offset the middle point a little bit more because we need it right so what I'll just do is select the middle point and bring it back along the x-axis just a little bit yeah this will be a better way of doing this because uh, we don't want to add any more nodes yeah this is working but the steps are kind of very little I don't like them I'm gonna hide our plane this one bring the step height up to 3 or I think 1.5 would be good and the step length up to 6 now let's see how that looks like I think I'm gonna make it 5 because 6 looks very bad and the step height can be 1 again let's see that well that's looking amazing that's what I wanted you can see I did that thing here with the plane the triangular plane and now you can see the whole effect of that plane it's done a lot of things just look at it you know you will understand what i what i mean here that rotation thing like uh, it's going like that way the rotation is affected of this body like this rotation and if uh, if we didn't add this plane and the whole triangular plane thing it will just go like that which is not what we want so a big problem solved here and it, uh, it moves in curves it does everything and just like that it's perfect you can apply this to any character of course and you can edit the grid a little bit however you want it so let's just grab it up and see the results well, let's see i'm going for that so one thing you need to uh, keep in mind that you always uh, need to bring this curve up there like keep it up you don't, you don't need to intersect it in between the mesh like that because that won't work now let's see how that looks like oh yeah i'm gonna bring that down a little bit it was a little bit crazy and bring this point down you just match it a little bit to the ground just like that now see how that looks like and now you get a little bit of problems here because of the step length and stuff like that but that won't be a problem right you can always just bring that down a little bit yeah do something like 4.5 and that will just work fine for you um, you can edit the curve of course you can make it move anywhere you want I'm gonna do like that and this is a whole lot of fun like once you created the geometry nodes tree you can give it to any four leg creatures or any creature you want and add more features to it like you can make more points and add like textures to the set position and move them randomly like one other thing you can do here is create like a circular motion for the points which will be very easy to do uh, than this one and turn those points to these bones so when those points rotate like that these hands are gonna be like uh, these are gonna be moving that way just like that I clear that up if you want to support this channel and want to see more of these tutorials this project file will be available on my patreon so you can download it from there and support me too that was it for today and i'll see you in the next one